uh, my task is to introduce you to the shock project, in particular to WP31, which I am leading. And uh, a few words uh, before, before, uh, start, before entering in the core of the presentation, a few words about, uh, uh, about the context. Um, in shock, uh, special attention is given to technologies and services to be contributed into the social science and humanities cloud. What we aim to is to contribute technically by providing infrastructure components and content, but also politically with strategies for governance. And uh, from the technical point of view, uh, what we are aiming to is to make the clearing uh, technologies available to other communities. Next, task three one is concerned particularly with providing uh, background resources and tools with special emphasis on discovery, access, and the reusability of research data. Uh, with this objectives with these targets in mind, it's crucial to ensure multilinguality by offering metadata translated in different languages. And what's the point of discussion today? Offering a platform where to publish the vocabularies, thus allowing searching and browsing. Next, please. In this task, we were faced with uh, the Austin vocabulary platform for the project. And what we were expected to do was to provide uh, recommendations for choosing the, let's say, ideal solution or solutions, at least to provide the best options for the vocabulary platform. And to achieve this, uh, we wanted to involve a community. So we used various means, uh, a survey first, uh, that has been accompanied by interviews. Uh, and these, uh, two, uh, these, two, these two instruments has helped us to isolate a set of criteria or technical features the vocabulary hosting platform should comply with. And uh, next, uh, the first action was the survey, the survey of existing systems for managing vocabularies used to describe and allow discovery of research data in SSH infrastructures. We started from an already existing survey and we tried to integrate it. Uh, the different systems in the survey are described according to relevant features in a kind of matrix. Next, please. Uh, here is the matrix where the features are in the horizontal row of the matrix and the systems are uh, listed vertically. Um, as you can see, the different services have been evaluated by different experts with respect to the features. And the features are the data model, how do they organize the concept, if the concepts, if they provide the synonyms, translations, different functionalities offered by the platforms, by the, by the systems, um, if they offer import, export, browsing, editing, linking, mapping functionalities. And the services, uh, the survey, the services are used in different frameworks and they are the ACDH vocabulary server, the SESDA vocabulary server, uh, service, the open scores, uh, and also other open source uh, services. Next, please. And in order to integrate the data and let uh, other requirements emerge, we complemented the survey with direct interviews to colleagues in shock about uh, the most uh, used vocabularies uh, and the most used vocabularies, uh, vocabulary platforms. And we asked them what they use, what they wish uh, that doesn't exist yet, uh, or what they would need from the platform. And next, please. <clears throat> As you can see, many questions are also related to the requirements and expectations 
not only about the platform, but uh, also the vocabulary, the vocabulary as well. So for, for example, what is the vocabulary used for, uh, the approximate number of terms and concepts, uh, if, um, if the vocabularies are uh, organized uh, hierarchically, uh, if they have information about broader, narrow terms, if they have related terms, if they offer synonyms, if they have definitions. And also, um, we, uh, we also asked about uh, rights uh, licenses for accessing and using them. Next, please. And uh, last but not, but not least, uh, the third step uh, in uh, in uh, this uh, in this uh, work was to check the vocabulary hosting platforms with respect to some technical requirements so for example if they have um, if they uh, in, they offer interoperability protocols if they provide the source code if uh, provide apis the type of formats and again the licenses for access in the vocabularies. Um, next, please. And in order to propose a vocabulary platform for shock, it's important to understand the general framework for the use of, of the platform in, in the project. Uh, so uh, publishing tools uh, um, can be used to expose vocabularies on the web, but this is not enough for shock users and uh, specialized tools are needed for searching, browsing, SCOS vocabularies. And another issue concerns uh, the editing. The common platform is not only an access, uh, a point of access, but needs uh, um, to offer services for editing. And in the context, uh, in the context of research infrastructures, uh, it's common to create aggregation platform. So alignment functionalities are needed for linking, mapping, um, and align uh, the, the vocabularies. So the platform um, seems to have strong requirements in terms of uh, uh, semi-automatic alignment, uh, synchronization, uh, import, and import export, and also uh, uh, requirements on uh, role management that is uh, uh, offer service services to uh, manage different roles of different uh, users uh, um, uh, rights of users uh, on the vocabularies next please and here is the, is the table of, of the requirements uh, um, which are proposed in the ms in ms8 um, milestone and this uh, concerns the data model uh, it seems that uh, SCOS uh, is uh, the most used data model in all vocabularies concern concern the structure um, it's important uh, to support the hierarchies of concepts and also multilinguality and multilingual support is, uh, is uh, required to improve discovery and maximize accessibility and also uh, offer concept schemes in order to facilitate search, uh, the search by uh, facets and uh, also offer uh, API support. Next, please. As concerns uh, browsing is important if uh, um, also accompanied by uh, functionalities such, such as, uh, for example, filtering of concepts by, by provenance, Ser searching facilities, uh, how to organize, uh, for example, results uh, alphabetically, uh, multilingual view and multilingual search. Um, also systems, as I told, 
you before for allowing management or roles uh, of users is crucial given the necessity of for users to collaborate via web uh, via web to vocabularies and finally um, also versioning with the possibility to reconstruct the history and the status of concepts uh, for example approved the draft Publish already publish uh, or to to revise should be should be made uh, made available. Uh, next, please. This is uh, this is a summary of of the of the requirements I have uh, described before, and we can go directly to the conclusions. Next, please. Uh, I show you where we are with M eight. Um, M's, uh, M's eight uh, milestone, and uh, with the shock recommendations for a vocabulary publication service, uh, we uh, we are convinced that a more agreed solution for this service is needed, and that's why in the framework of as uh, Francisca told you before, in the framework of this uh, vocabulary initiative, we organize uh, the series of meetings in September, and this meeting. Today is uh, is the last uh, is the last uh, step, and we hope to discuss with you and integrate the features. And this uh, this uh, will be done uh, together with uh, you, Liana, and uh, you all uh, in, during November this uh, this month. Thank you.